rich better have my money. All right, you're checking out the Opie and Anthony program on XM Satellite Radio. It's a virus, the ONA virus spreading across America. I just smell so raisiny and cinnamony in here now, doesn't it? Sure does. I just did a phone in to uh, Wolf and Tobin in uh, Albany. It's a commercial radio show. They're friends, and I like doing them. And they were the first ones I've done that actually asked about this show and the hours we're on. Oh, yeah? They're like, yeah, what, you, what time are you guys on, man? Like, How's it going? They're just, it's fucking great. That man. was nice of them. Yeah, but it's just nice to see people that aren't fucking panicking about satellite. Yeah, perhaps they're um, hi. on their way to satellite one of these days. Why Hello. are you saying hi? We haven't even introduced you yet. I was saying hi to him. He looked at me. Yes. Oh, yeah, he'll do that. <laughs> and we met out there. I oh, I got saying. confused. I'm sorry. He'll do okay. that. <laughs> He'll look at you until you're scared. Gosh, you can say the F word in here? You can yes. say fuck. That is fantastic. Can... Yes. I had to curtail myself. No, not on a XM satellite radio. Mm, wonderful. It's nice to talk about anything. And in order to uh, talk about your life, uh, I think it's best uncensored. <laughs> tell you the truth. <laughs> well, I've lived a very uncensored life. We should introduce yeah. everyone to Pamela the bar. Hi. Yeah. You're like, uh, you were a professional groupie? Well, professional, I don't know. There was no you word. Con- well, there was no word groupie when I started doing it. I yeah. don't know. I mean, I guess I sort What of was it called invented. back then? Uh, well, I met Dion's wife. He was one of my absolute heroes when I was very young, and she said they were called Top 40 Fuckers. I can say it on here. Top 40 I've never, Fuckers? I've never been able to say that. Yeah. <laughs> she said they were girls like me were called Top 40 Fuckers, and she would said it with disdain. Yeah. Because she's been with Dion for a long time, and I guess he was hit on a lot. And she had to deal with that, being yeah, married yeah, to him, I guess? Yeah, yeah. But I was, you know, I didn't go after married men. I was very careful that way. Yeah. Because I didn't want that to happen to me. It did, but I didn't want it to. <laughs> when did you start, like, hooking up with rock stars? Um, when I was about 16. Ooh. Yeah. Jeez. Who was your first? My first. You probably have heard these questions a million yes, times. Yes, I have. But well, that's all right. Maybe we'll, um, maybe we'll have a different spin on it somehow. Nick St. Yeah. Nicholas was actually my first. I fell madly in love with him. Who? He was in Steppenwolf, bass player for Steppenwolf. Oh, okay. Then oh. Chris Hillman was my. So true, you started uh, kind of down the ladder. Didn't uh, well, get, no, I didn't I get didn't, right up there to the well, upper echelon of rock and roll. Well, that's who I fell in love with, though. I mean, really? I, yeah, I was always in love with these people. And Chris Hillman from The Birds was my real true love. I saw him off and on for years. He was the second one. And Noel Redding and Hendrix Experience, mm-hmm. third. For you know, for for a while I kept a little list and I knew, but you know, then it, I dropped the list. How any many comics? On the, any comics on the list? Huh, well, I had a long f- affair recently with Michael Richards. Really? He's very funny. Well, yeah. He's hysterically funny. He does stand up that is out of this world. Yeah. A lot of people haven't seen it. Now, how, how many rock stars have Not you been many. with? Not that many. No? No, because I always would, tried to stay with them for a while. I'd, for instance, I'd never one night stand. Not one. No? I'm so proud of that. <laughs> people think I probably had a hundred of those. No. Yeah, we just picture like backstage, that. a quick no, banging, did, and then... I never uh, did back... Never. No? Never did. I was always the girlfriend. The girlfriend. I, I don't think I would have written a book about just that kind of stuff. I am writing a book now about that kind of stuff, though, with other girls called Let's Spend the Night Together with all the other groupie stories. So, and those are a lot of the uh, just backstage A lot of down on their knees and, and ooh, yeah, favors. Yeah. And do, but you know what? They had a good time. They, none of them now, if you were the girlfriend, you probably saw a lot of that that went on. Yes, I saw a lot of that. I was kept away. When Zeppelin were notorious, but Jimmy was my boyfriend, Jimmy Page, and he kept me away from <laughs> Jimmy most Page. of that stuff. Wow. Jesus. It's pretty good on the resume. <laughs> Fucking Jimmy Page. Jesus. Did you do any black magic with Jimmy Page? Uh, I got him Aleister Crowley scripts, manuscripts. He collected all Aleister Crowley stuff. Yeah. And there was a guy in Hollywood who had actual manuscripts with scribbling. I remember getting him one for $1,100. They must be worth 50000 now or something. You know, mm-hmm. he, he, he is a very Absolutely smart even more than collector. That, gentlemen. Really smart art collector and everything. He's yeah. amazing, yeah. Does he still have Al, uh, Crowley's house? Yes, he does in Scotland, yeah. Do you still talk to Jimmy? Occasionally. I'm much closer with Robert Plant. We, we stayed really good friends. but yeah, So Jimmy. did uh, Jimmy. I met him and Robert once. Plant. Yeah. He's a Got great a picture. Guy. He's smiling. He's the best. Yeah, we took a really homoerotic picture. Like, <laughs> I, I went for the photo, and his hair is like delicately touching my face, and we oh, look like a wow. couple of Moes, but it's still a great picture with a legend. <laughs> All right, I got to ask you uh, the most famous, would you say, Jimmy Page? Mick Jagger. Oh, you banged Mick Jagger? Many times. Ooh. <laughs> Fuck. Banged. That's well, such a rude word. But that's the way I look yeah, at it, though. Yeah, it <laughs> is. How about Ozzy? Did you ever hook up with Ozzy? Ozzy's a good friend. Ozzy and Sharon are good friends. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a yes. <laughs> no, no, I never, no, no, I never slept with Ozzy. No, I never slept with Ozzy. No. Why? Why? Yeah. He's not really my type. Come on. He's married. I didn't do oh. the married thing. How Man. about... Uh, who, Sharon's a good friend. Wait, I, I, I knew her before Ozzy. That's how I met Ozzy. Where did you do uh, Mick Jagger? In L.A. and in London. And you say you didn't do uh, one night stands, but I, I, Mick Jagger's not the the girlfriend type, really. He's jumping around all over right. the place. But he liked me enough so that we, you know, stayed in touch. And I'd when whenever he came to L.A., we we were together. When I was in London, we were together. Gonna wing on over to London and fuck the stones. <laughs> 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 Only one stone thing. Yeah, you. that's the one you're gonna bang, though. I mean, not that I mean I'd probably jerk Bill Wyman off, but I mean, <laughs> fucking if you're gonna have sex, Mick is the guy. <laughs> he was hot. He's still pretty hot. He gets the young chicks. Oh, he was seventeen. I, you got. How do you not love he gets Jagger? The young chicks. I get the young guys though. I do. Yeah. My well, my boyfriend's twenty years younger than me. Really? Mm-hmm. Is he uh, in the music? Yeah, he's a country singer, a country kind of alt rock country singer in L.A. Love wow. him. I got to ask you, Extended biggest TV. hog in rock? Who has the biggest hog? Hmm. I don't. You know, I never. I oh come on! Side. Come on! No, honestly, I but was you have to remember. It was almost you have like to remember saying, going like, "Ow." Yeah. Well, which one did you look at and go, ugh? I heard Hendrix had a huge dick. Yes, he did, but I I only saw the cast. I never saw the actual flesh. Yeah. Uh, Because Cynthia Plastercast is a good friend of mine, but um, Don Johnson, probably. He was my boyfriend. for We lived together for a year, and he's... Hacking packing. in that area, yeah. He's packing He's, some uh, heat. Yeah, Don, heard, is, Don is hot. I heard Huey Lewis had a huge penis, Yes, too. I've heard that, too. Yeah. I haven't seen it. Okay. Never saw that? Never hooked up with the I, Huey? I always liked the Brits, the British boys. Yeah? Yeah. Prefer them unclipped. <laughs> <laughs> Most embarrassing uh, rock star you've been with, you know, on the way of popularity, and who would go like, oh, that's kind of a geeky... N- n- oh, like no. Buddy Holly would be like. No, I was never with a who... geeky rock star. I, no, no, only the cool guys. The, the wildest one was Keith Moon. He was. I well, saw I him a lot assume. for years. Waylon Jennings. I was leave with, with a like lot. vomit and come on you, <laughs> and you leave the hotel room after <laughs> Keith Moon. He was the sweetest though. He but was. you didn't do one night stands, man. You're rattling no. him off. There's but not enough time. Here's what she's saying. Like, I, I think it's not like the girlfriend, just, like, we're committed and in love, but it's like, oh, I'll date you when you're in town yes, and hang yes, out. Exactly. It's not just like a one night thing. I was the LA right. girl. I was the LA girl. Right. And, or sometimes well, even more. I would go to London or New York. But I think that's a little different than uh, being a girlfriend. Oh, right? absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what you're saying. But it's not like a girlfriend, like, all right, I'm in love with you. You a don't see other girlfriend. people. Uh, yeah. No, it wasn't like that. But, but it they was. They came to town and you go out to dinner or, or go get coffee and, and what have you, right? Whatever. And, and then go back to the hotel. <laughs> but, you know, I whatever. would see them for years. Like Waylon Jennings and Keith Moore saw for two, three years. Waylon, yeah. Yeah, whenever they... I was, you know, their L.A. chick. She's a groupie there. Uh, she, like, screwed uh, rock stars there. Oh, that's cool. Little I'm relationships sorry. and... Some uh, fantastic ones. ones. Uh, well, did somebody already ask stars. about comics and whatever? Yeah, yeah. the first thing I asked. <laughs> that was the first, yeah. Please, of what course. What What happened? Michael Richards. Michael Richards. Yeah. But, see, he was my boyfriend. We, You know, we were actually... Dating for six months, we didn't see. Any guys give you a call and say, "Hey, man, don't don't mention me." No, are you kidding? They all want to be talked about. And Dave Navarro wrote an intro for my new. You know, I, I'm with the band; it's just been re-released. That's why I'm not doing. This Did you have sex Dave with uh, Navarro, Dave Navarro? Uh, <clears throat> all right. Anytime no. there's. <clears throat> no, I, uh, he's a friend. He's a dear friend, and he did yeah. me a favor writing my my preface. Yeah. Uh, what's the book again? I'm with the band. That's right. Okay. Yeah. And I'm reading uh, tomorrow night at Coliseum. Books. She went out with all these guys, oh. Patrice. She seems so pleasant. And it Sandra more Bernhardt is than, reading um... with me. Speaking of comedians, <clears throat> she's reading with me tomorrow at Coliseum Books here in Manhattan at 7 p.m. I think she's very reading? sexy. Yeah, I do too. I had to crush on her. In my Not second at book, all. I read all about this big crush I have on her. Really? Yeah, I like her. I've always readings? liked her. What? They have readings like like oh, how readings. how people do on C-SPAN at the book thing, and it's like I'm yeah. gonna read out of my book. Really? Well, it's a little more than a reading, and I stop. What part are you gonna read? I don't know Sandra's going to read the the Jimmy Page stuff. It's pretty hot. A little I racy. Had orgasm after orgasm, and I could see them and taste them. They were flavored. I was on mescaline. Well, he knows she's how to work. Ah, well, the mescaline. She's, she's going to read. I realized that it wasn't milk that shot through my f- <laughs> eyeball. <All right. laughs> Jimmy Page is great with his fingers too. Oh. So you gotta, yeah. you gotta think that he's running he knows what he's putting down her <laughs> <laughs> So Sandra's going to read that. Oh, that's funny. The nipple and the clit together. That's oh, he's just playing. Down, 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 down. You're done now, though, right? <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh. oh, no, the guitar is very sexy stuff. Quick, the immigrant song. I want to come. Right. Yeah. And you're done? Da, 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 da. <laughs> you're done with, with that whole life? My boyfriend, no, my boyfriend is a musician. He's 20 years younger than I am. But you wouldn't call yourself a groupie anymore. No, 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 no. 
You hear about Superhead, right? Like the the black girl version of you? No, I want to hear about her. You, Who is she? Super, you know, Superhead, very I need big. No, and my Corinne Patrice, Stephens. Are you serious? We, we are know. on cultural lines here that are uh, not Corinne crossing Stephens over. Corinne Stephens is the is the is the black version of this this girl like hip hop? But uh, whatever. Yeah, I'm she, looking for her for my new book. You've heard? Do you hear? You no, know who I she is? No, I want to know about her. She's she is the one, but it was more of a ventral thing. This sounds, if I'm not oh. right, this sounds more like, "Hi, everybody, remember I sucked your dick." Hers is more like, <laughs> "You motherfuckers, I was down and out. I licked your balls, and this is what you do to me." All right, <laughs> Bobby Brown, your dick tastes like crack. Uh, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! You yeah, a uh, little. Vengeance. It's called um, conf- the book is Confessions of, of a, a video of a video. Vixen. Vixen. I got oh, some. Mo- I got name? some audio. Oh, okay. I got a little little wow, case. Stop, stop it! Oh. This, might, oh. this might be Superhead. No, it's E Rock. You found this. Corinne's sexual abilities were so well known, Man. she even received the special nickname, Superhead. When it began, it was just a joke, you know, that came from a song. I thought it was cute, and the guys on Murder Ankle called me Soup. And then when it grew into something ugly, it hurt me. And I kind of, I was ashamed. <laughs> and and I saw a soup. video, I saw a porn video of this girl. She was in, um, I think, Mr. Marcus' Neighborhood. On um, part twenty, and, uh, <laughs> twenty. Of I course. think it was twenty. I'm not sure, but in Mr. Marcus' neighborhood, it was um super. Bad. She sucked dick. Me and my girl watched her, and I see, and, I, and my girl goes, "So what do you think?" I go, "That is officially a professional dick sucker." Yeah. She goes for the cum. Like it ain't no, it ain't no fucking. Hi everybody, I'm gonna kiss it. I'm gonna hold it. She was making a porn star in a porn movie go, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, baby. We got to fucking do a scene. I can't, I can't fucking come right now. Chill out, bitch. Because she did the, the, the number one getting the guy to come head job shit is jerking and sucking. And he was like, what, bitch? We're not in love. With spit, with spit, <laughs> with spit. And a ball touch. A light ball slap, touch. Slap, slap. A light ball touch. She is brutal. But your thing, it seems like more like everybody, would if they came in there, you know, some guy would be like, hey, hey, doll, how you doing? Yes, Good yes, to see we, you, baby. Yes. Hey. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Corinne is like. relationships. Oh, yeah. she's fucking being, yeah. people are torturing her, yeah. Oh, my Because, you know, God. we don't like snitches in the why, black community. Why would she yeah. do that to herself? Why would she let that happen? I don't, how, what, well, how could, like, which, di- <laughs> group, you know, I guess groupy word, what direction on, on the dark side or the, or the, or the force, how do you end up being on the force as a, as a groupie and on the dark side? What is right. the wrong thing to do for That's all the young up and coming fucking groupies a, to stay good in the eyes of the motherfuckers you're fucking? Excellent question. I yeah. think it's self esteem it has to do with how you feel about yourself, your your own self esteem and how far you would, would go to to you know to be with someone like that. Because I have, I, have, I have a girlfriend of mine who would let herself get demeaned a couple times, and it, they feel terrible afterwards. It sounds like this girl did, too. But I would never mm. get in a situation like that. Even if I smelled something weird in the air, I would leave. You know, so it's... So is there like an ethic where you're not... Where, okay, the community of rock stars or whoever you see, they go, you know... What's your name again? I'm sorry. Pamela DeBar. Pamela DeBar. They go, hey, man, look, I know one, Pam. She's not going to fuck with your wife. She's not going to yeah. say she was pregnant. She's not going <laughs> to snitch on your shit. Yeah. She's just going to fuck you, have some coffee. And, <laughs> and so does the word spread that you're, you know, she's a good hoe, man. Yeah. She's an upstanding <laughs> motherfucking hoe. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. It the goes word like goes that. like you yes, get a, a reputation for yeah. being a decent hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the phones. Will and Denver. <laughs> Will, what's a up? Decent person. Oh, hello, Lord. Hey, uh, Pamela, by any chance, when you were banging Waylon, did he ever uh, scream out the name Jesse? Ramon, give me a name dropping whore. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Uh, let's see. Well, Waylon is the, is one of the people I was actually with who, who, who was married, but I didn't oh. know it. I didn't know it. Yeah. And and later I found out he was married to Jesse Coulter. And, <clears throat> All right. Bill, you know, what's up? Yikes. Hey, Bill. Hey, I want to thank you guys for getting the gay out of the show today. Okay. But um, I want to ask her, there's, there's a movie, almost famous, with Kate Hudson. I mean, does her life like, kind of relate to that kind of movie if she ever saw it? Well, that that move, that girl, uh, character was pretty much based around me. 
Yeah, that character was pretty much based around what? myself. Yeah. Are you like the? I am the very fucking, famous. The, I'm the, the famous. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think. I of am a, the groupie. You all fucking look like other groupie girls. Like twenty go. Oh my god. Yes. That's bad. That's me. She do that. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are How you serious? Yeah, I wrote on with the band. I'm reading tonight in, in New York. And yeah. Tonight. Any yeah. advice to like new groupies out there? How do they get backstage? Well, now now you sort of have to be in the business. You have to you know be a disc jockey. You have to like work at a, uh, Record be a publicist label. or yeah or you know journalist. Oh, you it's very be difficult to meet the big guns these days. You can meet this local bands, smaller bands, right. and that's a good way to start. Anybody can it. anybody can fuck the bass player. It's but to get to it's Mick, not even so much the bass player. Bass players are difficult now too. If they're in Green Day, how do you get to them? It's very hard to to do. Uh, and and your yeah. season, what was your heyday? Your hey, your early seventies, your hey, early 70s. late sixties, pre AIDS. Oh As yeah, a, I had a blast. Shit, no condoms, yeah. no fucking no. I didn't law. have to even worry. Any kids? Yeah. Any of that? Dang it. I have a son. Yeah. Who's is he? Seven. Is he yeah, My husband. I got married for a long time. Oh, wow. Yeah. And who is he? Michael DeBar. He's on this all in this this new show called The Four Kings. He's on right now. He's playing a Phil Spector British version of Phil Spector. It's so funny. The Four. So he's doing real mm. well. All right. Let's go to McFly wow. the trucker. McFly. Hey, I'd like to ask uh, Pamela first off on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate Waylon? And two, uh, what was the time you was dating Waylon there? What to, what time frame there, year wise? I was dating Waylon. Uh, seeing Waylon yeah, you gotta from say like uh, <laughs> there was no date. Nineteen sixty nine. They weren't looking at you as a girlfriend. Hey, come on, they were. <laughs> they too. really were. She, God, and yes, and she was were. really just seeing him, looking through the window. <laughs> I see you, Waylon. <laughs> hey, could were. you get the fuck out they of here? No, they loved me. Uh, sixty nine. They had to girlfriend 71. experiences with you one day at a time. Sixty nine to seventy one. To say that, though, and, and, wow. and he was and he was married to Jesse during. No, that Jimmy time. Page was my boyfriend. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I have a feeling she's a classy fucking. Sixty-nine to trooper. seventy-one. Uh, uh, I was saw Waylon and Jesse de didn't. In fact, Shooter Jennings is a good friend of mine, and he told me that two weeks before his dad passed on, he he started talking about me again. And Jesse came in and said, "Shut up, Waylon." So def she definitely knew about me, and I was a girlfriend of his. Thank you. Yeah, well, one to ten, how would you rate Waylon compared to all your other flings? Jesus. He was pretty hot, but I've got to tell you, at the time, he was on speed. So oh, he yeah. could uh, not finish. I, I, I it would go there, on forever. I, I've been there, done that. Spray yeah. <laughs> Who gave the best so. head? Jimmy Page. Gives really? Head. Yeah. That's Jimmy Page. What an artist. Yeah, Jimmy, yeah, she loves An artist it. in the bed. An artist on the stage. Oh. Using that tongue studio. like he's playing a Zeppelin solo. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what you need both. Did All he right. try to get a little weird and pull out like a bow from a violin every so often? And Let the cliff <laughs> beat down upon my nose. No, but with, with other girls he did, but, but not with me. I was the good girl. Yeah. 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 Was your inspiration for any of his stuff? Probably. Mm. Oh, delicious. <laughs> is Robert Plant, was that really his package in those jeans and those posters? Yes. Wow. I, I know that. girls who have been with him. Yeah, he is definitely Damn. happening. He's got the big uh, Robert Plant dick in there. <laughs> How pleasant this Robert is. Plant and Robert, the eggplant in his Plant pants. Is the hottest. He is still the hottest guy. I toured with him recently. If, if I went to a few of his gigs because we're old friends. and the, the girls, all ages, just like, just... Still, out. still throwing themselves out. Uh, and he's still so, he just the way he holds himself and everything, he's a rock god. Did you get the write-off on this book for, all, from all the people that you mentioned? You don't have name? to. You don't have to. It's I know, nice but I'm story. saying to, to, to like no one, have, no one have got people mad not hate you and shit. No, no one got mad at me. I, t I told the truth. These guys love, why do you think they are up there showing off? They Fair love enough. to be talked about. Who's the last big like rock star kind of guy you were with? Like did it was it the eighties or something? It or? was Keith Moon because no, it was earlier than that. Wow, I, really? I met my ex husband uh, in seventy four. Okay, and, and so Keith, Keith Moon, Moon was my. I was seeing Waylon and Keith Moon at the same time. Actually, I was. I saw Waylon for longer. Yeah, I saw him till seventy four. Let's go to wow. let's go to Mike in Baltimore. Mike. Hey, good morning, boys. Hey. Hey, uh, Pamela. Good uh, good morning. Uh, good morning. For a long time. Great, great read. Uh, I wanted to ask you who was the biggest asshole uh, that you were with. Hmm. You know, they just weren't assholes to me. I got to be honest with you. I didn't have asshole experiences. Well, the, the, Jimmy Page was, I don't know, Jimmy Page was the best and the worst because he did actually wind up leaving me for a 14-year-old Because you loved Jimmy girl. Page. Yes, for I did. 14-year-old. 14, How yeah. old was he? He was 20... 
six, I guess, maybe at the time. 25. How long did he date her for? Probably four years. A couple of years. No, a couple of years, too. Couple of years. You know, she was another one of the girls, Lori Maddox. She's in my new book that, uh, that you know, he saw for a couple of years and broke her heart, too. Oh, my God. He was, uh, she been was left with her, a nine-year-old. Left her for BB Jimmy Buell. laid it down. Let, Jimmy you know. fucking outfucked all those rock yeah. stars, man. Yeah, oh, he, he's, yeah. he's notorious. Oh, he what? fucking blasted her because she wow. can't get, It's like, so who is the biggest asshole? So who, is, who had the worst breath? <laughs> Jimmy? Who, who cooked the best food? Jimmy Page. <laughs> well, how about how about Mick Jagger? <laughs> Fuck that faggot! I don't like him. <laughs> no. Jimmy, you know, Jimmy. I, I have to go. I have, an, I have another appointment. Unfortunately, because uh, I didn't plan on this. This is so much fun. Oh. Yeah, they were telling us uh, through the window that you had to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But thanks for Bye, having fam. me. I, can I mention that I'm reading tonight at Enid's in Brooklyn and tomorrow night at the Coliseum Books in Manhattan? I'd love to have people come down and meet me and hang out. Okay. Be fun. Have a Very good, good. read. Thank you. Thank you, Pamela. Bye. Bye. Pamela DeBar, everyone. <laughs> everyone look at look at Patrice taking a look. Yeah, it's a heavy door. There you go. There you go. Carlos Mencia checking in. What's up, Carlos? Oh, uh, you should see the kind of groupies I get the fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's uh, trying to she's trying to claim that she was a girlfriend to all these guys. Stop. Well, I don't think girlfriend in the way that they're you know she wanted let's to go to the movies and she wanted people to make sure she wasn't doing one night stands with these guys. What's the difference? She was, and but what was making her good? You oh, could I don't tell. care if it's still on outside. I had a problem with the she, fact that she thought she wasn't doing one night stands. I, I she think the did. Difference is she they did, did one night stands multiple times with these guys. She was a trooper and hung out. They probably called her. Yeah. I know girls like yeah. that. You you just bang, and then there's girls that like man. I really want to see this girl again when I'm in that city. They trusted yeah, her. Right, she right. was a trusted I understand home. that. But Derek goes, he whispers in uh, my headphones, uh, it's still on outside. She could hear this. I don't care. She was a trusted I had a problem home. with the fact that she's saying she was an actual girlfriend with all these guys. You don't get side pussy over, so you don't understand this, I, that... That getting a, a, a fucking hoe that doesn't snitch, man, is very important. She was an yeah. important part of that that group. She was she. The word went out. They used to go, "Hey, man, if you want to have a good time in the city or wherever the bitch, this bitch was, go t call Pam the bro. Yep. She'll suck your dick. She'll chill out. She won't fuck with your life." I get it, and that's I think important. some that's some what it of the was, guys were trying probably, to make it sound like it was different than that. Some of the guys probably were uh, actual boyfriend for a. Whatever period maybe of time, maybe a couple, but she just she named a bunch of names, and we we barely and got they, started with her. Maybe there's a different definition. <laughs> and she of also boyfriend. said she didn't go with the married guys. Come on, come on. What do I know? That's what her word. You never know. She might have an ethic. The bitch is a, has an outstanding, <laughs> has an outstanding <laughs> like a repertoire in the yeah. groupie community. <laughs> Anyone would write her a reference. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know? Yeah, she's, I hear you. She's well loved. You gotta right. love her. What English guys as well? All English guys. So they're just popping through America and banging Nobody the life out of Nobody gives a shit about they were all English guys with their uncircumcised dicks. <laughs> <laughs> well, so they're doing this banging all the way from England, from America. English dicks all smell like feet. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> cares if you're yeah. octopus tentacle dick. You <laughs> <laughs> fucking awful fucking. I'm helmet stuff. Clearly helmet stuff. I'm a German helmet. So I'm worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> All English guys. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares.